Around the world, fish populations are being driven to the brink of collapse by illegal fishing and overfishing, with devastating consequences for marine life and the millions of people who depend on it for their survival. In West Africa, 6.7 million people depend directly on fisheries for their food and livelihoods. Yet, an estimated one in every three fish is caught by illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing practices. There's a rampage of IU fishing. When the trawlers start coming in and drift in our areas of fishing, they depleted the, the whole fish stock. Illegal operators rely on lax regulation and weak governance to steal with impunity, leaving the poorest communities most at risk. And the lack of transparency is allowing these vessels to sail under the radar. To stop this, we need an urgent shift towards transparency in African waters and beyond. And the good news is that we already have the tools to make this happen. EJF's Charter for Transparency outlines transformative solutions that governments and industry must adopt to bring an end to the destruction of marine ecosystems. Simple, low-cost measures like publishing lists of fishing licenses, making vessel tracking data public, and sanctioning those involved in illegal fishing would revolutionize the global fishing industry. And crucially, the communities that depend on fisheries for their survival should be at the forefront of this fight. EJF and WWF work with coastal fishing communities across Africa to encourage collaborative control over their own fisheries. For example, equipping them with inexpensive technologies such as smartphones and joke tagged cameras that allow them to identify and report illegal fishing activities. In Liberia, where 80% of the population depend on fish as a primary source of protein, EJF has helped small-scale fishers successfully campaign to protect their waters and gather evidence that can be used by the Liberian government to catch and sanction illegal operators. With communities in charge of their own resources, local fishers have reported a reduction in illegal fishing and in turn, an increase in catches and income. Yesterday, I saw a species that over 10 years we haven't seen. They are now coming. Small-scale fishers are best placed to act as custodians of the resources they rely on, scaling up the capacity of local environmental defenders alongside greater transparency across African waters will protect precious marine ecosystems for generations to come.